Okay, we're going to talk about how water can dissolve cool things. So I'm going to first take some water, all right, and then I'm going to take some food coloring. We'll start out with yellow. We know the water's polar. If the food coloring dissolves in the water, we know the food coloring is polar. Did it dissolve? Okay, step one. Step two. We're going to take some more water and we're coloring. Is the food coloring called red polar? Yeah, so it's polar. Water's polar, red food coloring is polar. There's an ex right here. Like dissolves like. So if the two things are polar, they'll dissolve into each other. Let's take some more water. And let's take some Coke. Hypothesis, will the Coke dissolve in the water? No. Yes. 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 Let's see. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so is Coke polar? Yes. yes. All right, Coke's polar. Let's take some more water. And we are going to take some common ordinary salt, OK? Yes. Put a little salt in my hand. I'm going to put the salt in the water like that. I'm going to stir it for a minute because I want to give it a chance to see if it will dissolve. What do you think? Will it be salty? Uh, it's yes. Salt yeah. Water, so sure yeah. Have you ever tasted the ocean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Salt. All right. So <laughs> now salt is not a liquid. So we wouldn't say salt is polar. But salt has what we call electrical charges. So it's really readily dissolved by water. Now we're going to see if these things all dissolve together. So far, so good. That would be my expectation. Okay, now we're going to take some more water, and we're going to take some sugar. What do you think? Will sugar dissolve in water? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot like salt. It's like I'm going to put too much, or it'll take too long. Sugar is a molecule that has a lot of OH groups, but it has polar nature to it. Oh, indeed. Would you verify it dissolved? Oh, indeed. I don't know if it dissolves. <laughs> If it's Would you verify it dissolved? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now we're going to pour that and that, so those dissolve. Now we're going to pour. Do you say false? Put that in there. Yeah. What's that? Brown. That's sad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, those are all the polar things. Remember this phrase knock it off, you're on film. I like <laughs> dissolved a lot. Now, all the polar substances or polar oh, nature substances are in here, okay? Now I'm going to take some, this is our oil from our french fry lab. Oh. It stinks a little bit. We're going to put some oil in there like that. Now I'm going to put some coke in there. What do you think will happen? It will dissolve. Let me see what you need. All right, so the coke is polar, right? Yes. The oil is not polar. Like dissolves like, but unlike things aren't going to dissolve. Now I'm going to take this substance called acetone. It's fingernail polish remover. We'll put it in there. Okay, ready? We'll see if it's polar or nonpolar. It's not polar. It's not. It's not. There's just a little problem in the bubble layer. Let's pour it all in here. Now there's a layer of coke. Now there's another liquid I want to put in there called cyclohexane. You tell me if this is polar or not polar. Not polar. Now I have a crystal that I'm going to put in there. It's called iodine. It's an element. Oh, this is polar. I already know. And you can you can get a close up view of that. Oh, All right, that's good. Now I'm going to put this in the spoon. What is that for? Now we're going to see if these iodine crystals are polar nature or nonpolar nature. Skidoosh. It turns red when it dissolves. I bet it's not red. I think it's polar. I think it is red. It's red. It's not polar. So it's not polar. It's like a lava lamp, yeah? Pretty good. So remember the saying, like dissolves like. So two polar things will dissolve in each other. Two nonpolar things will dissolve, or polar nonpolar nature. But a polar thing won't 
readily mix with a nonpolar thing, okay? All right, that's it.